What's up guys, welcome to General Electronics here. Uh, today I have an automatic car headlight. It's very useful car, it's, it's very useful uh, circuit in the cars. Um, uh, I have used here uh, three LDs here uh, for indicating uh, whatever is happening here on, the, on this circuit. So it's easy to trace the problem if circuit is not working. The first LD is here is going to light on when the fuse is burned or bro of, of broken. The second one is going to turn on when the circuit is, is, is turned on and there's a power. And the third one is going to light when the light is activating. So actually it's very uh, useful um, components to, to be able to trace any problem that may occur in this circuit. Here we have a sensor, a long cable. And this, this sensor it should be on your dashboard somewhere. And this one here, so powering is on uh, powering wires, and I've used bridge rectifier here. Uh, I've used I've used it because you don't have to worry about any uh, about the polarities of this circuit. Uh, positive minus, it's all gonna work, and you you won't be able to damage the circuit. So that's why I use the bridge rectifier. And then you have 10k here for adjustment of sensitivity of the sensor and if I have a chip for driving the relay ITP for 122 for high current for driving the relay as well so that means the signal uh, the signal gonna pick picked up here goes to the transistors here then the signal get sent to an if I have chip and this one gonna drive the relay this is gonna drive this one, this one gonna turn on the relay. This is a circuit that you're gonna this wires you're gonna hook that hook them up with your headlights of the car. I'm gonna put the circuit on and I'm gonna show you. So this the red, the red side is a positive and the minus. As I told you before, it it won't matter which polarity I'm gonna hook it up, it won't burn up, it will just work okay. As you can see, the LED is on. I'm going to change the polarities here. The circuit is still on. The power is on the board. So that's very, uh, very useful. And then, uh, Here, is the, here, this fuse is broke. As I'm gonna show you uh, how is the red light work. See, so the, uh, the red light light, meaning the the fuse here is blown up. So uh, you, it's easy to trace the problem. You can just easily change it. If you change it, it stops lighting. This means the LD is working properly. And then here, this LD here is gonna turn on when I cover the sensor. That means the relay is on. That means the, the, the relay is on and it's off. On and off. So it's very useful to use LDs for indicating and it's easy, it's, it is easy to trace a problem within the circuits. So I'm going to show you more uh, demo so I can see how it's going to work. Um, so this is the schema, schema, schema I made. That's actually uh, based, normally this is how a car work. There's a headlights, two headlights, a relay here, and a switch and a fuse and a battery. So uh, this means when you 
the, the switch is closed here, the power goes all the way, uh, magnetize the relay, the relay make a contact here, so that means the, the power can flow all the way to the, to the two headlights. So, so the power can go all the way to the two headlights here. You switch switched off, there's, there's no, uh, when it's open, the power that can go through the fuse and the relay stays off. Okay, and the circuit I've built, the two wires here, the contacts here, they're gonna come here, like so. So when the, fu when the fuse, when, when it's closed, the power goes all the way to the relay and the relay activates the, the headlights. When it is open, that means my circuit is gonna take, this circuit here is gonna take off, to take on, the power gonna go like, like that through the wire, to the relay here, come come back to this one here, then, the second relay of the, of the headlight. Then you're gonna power, you're gonna power the the headlight on. So that's how actually it's working. I'm gonna show the the other demo as well, so you can see the two the two LDs here, and these LDs are going are, are going to represent uh, a car headlights. They're gonna represent these two as a car headlight. And they have a switch. Uh, it's a three ways. So, so I'm gonna connect to positive. So, if I switch on the lighting, so this means just switching on and off. So I'm gonna add my circuit here, this one here, to make it uh, to make it auto up. Okay, so this is how it's gonna be normally hooked up. Uh, if you go up the middle, everything is off, nothing's happening. If you go like this, that means the lights are on, you switch it manually on, and if you push it back, it's automatic. You can see that. Off, you can switch on. Just like that. So here, here is the, the schematic. This switch here, this this one here, just on and off. So uh, my circuit is gonna uh, come between this uh, this circuit here and this one here, so that I have three ways uh, switching. Uh, the middle is off all the way. It's automatic. Off manually, yes, it's manually off automatic. Like so, it's off. What's going to happen? It's manually.
So this actual how is going to be hooked up in the car. You can always be able to control uh, driver control to so just switch on, or you can let it go automatic. When it's dark, the light turns on. When it's daylight, the light turns off.